Hello and welcome to High School Basketball on WOSN. Alongside Dar Nevergal, I'm Evan Skilleter, Jacob O'Neill, and Stephen McNeil on the cameras tonight. And we are at USV High School for a non-conference showdown between two teams that are having great seasons. It's the Rams from USV and the Rockets from Pandora as we have tip. USB wins with the white jerseys tonight, only with about six guys that we'll see on the floor. Drew Stevens out tonight for USB. He's their second leading scorer, but starting for the Rams is Alex Sanders, Jason Helton, Mason Thompson, Maddox Underwood, and Blaine Castle on the other side for Pandora wearing those gray uniforms. They start with Colin Harris, Derek Mag, Aiden Harris, Aiden Morris, and Jake Mag. First shot of the night, no good. Dar, pleasure to be with you. These two teams, each with just four losses late in the season. And how about that three early on from Derek Mag? Well, that's a way to get it started. Derek Mag, a 45% three-point shooter. This is going to be a tough one for the Rams. I mean, they, like I said, they only have like six guys. They brought some guys off the DB team. Missing Drew Stevens, you know, averaging just under 17 points a game. You know, that's going to be a big miss for them. Plus, his, you know, you throw in his five rebounds a game as well. But, you know. The thing with Pandora tonight is, you know, you know, of course, USB is going to want to slow it down because they don't have enough guys out there, you know, but I don't think Pandora is going to let them do that. They want to come down there. They want to run them as much as they can. Nice dump off to Blaine Castle. Castle with the first score of the game for USB. It's 3-2 Pandora on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Yeah, I mean, that's one guy right there, Blaine Castle, they're going to have to get a great game out of, you know, because they got they got to take care of this Pandora interior that they've got out there. They need more scoring from him. He averages just under six points a game. Step back three good from Aiden Harris, the leading scorer on this Rockets squad. 18 points per game. Shoots 45% from outside, and you saw the nice stroke right there. Well, the two guys out there, Derek Mag and Aiden Harris, the number one and number two three-point shooters in the Blanchard Valley Conference. So, you know, you're going to see a lot from those guys shooting out there. Another dump off to Castle inside. Castle goes up. He's fouled. That'll be number one against Aiden Harris in the first foul of the game. You mentioned the BVC. Tough at the top, the Blanchard Valley Conference. Liberty Benton beating this Pandora team on Friday. They're 8-0 in the Blanchard Valley Conference. They have clinched at least a share of the title. They can win it with a win against Riverdale. Arlington at 7-1, and then this Pandora team 6-2 in the Blanchard Valley Conference. And hey, how about a quick shout out to Corey Ross and the Hornets, five and three in the Blanchard Valley Conference, a team that has seemingly been rebuilding for a long time, but finally finding some success on the hardwood. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, nice program being built over there, you know. And you look down through that Blanchard Valley Conference, there's a lot of teams, you know, that it's tough when you've got Liberty Benton and you got in Arlington and, you know, even Pandora up there because teams like Van Lue and stuff like that are having good seasons, but they just can't seem to get over that hump. And a nice step to the basket right there by Aiden Morris. 8-4, the Rockets lead. Three different scores for the Rockets so far. Three for three from the field as well. And in the Northwest Central Conference, USB undefeated 5-0. Perry 5-1, Elgin 4-2, Ridgemont 4-2. This USB team beat Elgin, had to come from behind to win that game. It was a tough one on the road. Here in a non-conference showdown without their leading scorer, or second leading scorer, as we said, Drew Stevens, averages 16.6 .6 points per game. Alex Sanders, the only scorer for USB that scores more. He's at 16.9 points, so those two very similar. And then you got Maddox Underwood coming in at 14.2 points a game. So they got three players in double figures on this team. And that's Underwood hitting his first free throw, a 63% free throw shooter. Underwood gets the second. He's the third. USB player averaging double figures this season. He's at 14.2 per game. Ball goes to the high post. Inside goes Aiden Harris. His shot's blocked, and that's last touched by the Rockets. 
And that's the interior defense you talked about that will have to be so big for USB. You mentioned the size, Nate Mag 6'3", Jake Mag 6'2", will play inside for the Rockets, but hey, they've got three or four guys that like to attack the rim as well and really know how to finish. So that's big time defense inside. Yeah, absolutely. And the biggest guy that USB's got out there is Wayne Castle at 6'4". Three-pointer on the way, count it. Maddox Underwood splashing it in from deep. He has five, and he gives the Rams the lead. That's uh, Maddox's 79th three-point attempt this season. You know, he's at 37, 37% of it. I said, well, you know, USC is going to slow it down, but they haven't shown any part of that. They, they want to get up and down the court as well. Now Derek Mag called for the charge. That's actually going to be his second foul early on here for the Rockets. And he will head to the bench. Nate Mag checking in for Jake Mag and Owen Huffman, the six foot sophomore, checking in for Derek Mag. Yeah, we were talking a little while ago about this lineup, you know, this roster here for Pandora Gilbo. Only one senior on the roster, you know, and that's Derek Mag. And the rest are juniors and sophomores. So a very young team, very you know, experienced team, but very young team. Nate Mag comes in and immediately gets a steal. Rockets come the other way. Aiden Morris with the basketball. Huffman back up to Morris. Now a three on the way from Mag. How about that one? He's only a 25% three-point shooter. He's only fired 16 this season. One for one tonight. Well, he saw two other guys popping in from there, so he figured he could do it too. Nice steal and lay in there by Aiden Harris and a quick run here from the Rockets. Four straight points, 13-9 lead. Yeah, I think USB needs to slow it down a little bit. They have no intention of doing that. That's really surprising. Now Aiden finds Colin Harris. Harris picks it up, fires up to Aiden Morris. Now Morris inside goes up and a block called inside on Maddox Underwood. That will be his first team first of the half for Upper Scioto Valley. Derek Mag, or excuse me, Aiden Morris headed to the line. 60% free throw shooter this season, 18 of 30 coming into tonight. Averages 4.9 points, 2.1 rebounds. Also a tremendous defender at the other end as he knocks in the first. Yeah, he does so much out there for this Pandora team. You don't see it in the scoring column as much, but you know, defensive-wise, like I said, Evan, you know, assist-wise, those kind of things, those little things that you, you know, when you look at the paper the next day, you don't see him in, like I said, in the scoring column, but it's all those other things he does. Gets them both to go, four points for him, 15-9, the Rocket lead, 6-0 run. Sorry, make that a 7-0 run for the Rockets. Here's a pass inside, it's knocked away. That was Colin Harris getting a hand on it, credited with the steal. Three from the top, that's no good. Maddox Underwood grabs the board. And immediately fouled by Owen Huffman, his first. You can tell the Rockets are trying to push the pace, which you want to do against a team that doesn't have much depth. Again, we talked about it, only six players warming up for the Rams for a majority of warm-ups until some of the JV guys got out onto the floor as well. So we're not anticipating too much depth and too many different guys giving time to these Rams tonight. And that's going to be huge too because this is a very physical Pandora team. Great shot right there from Underwood. He's having a great night so far. Seven points for him of USB's 11. Now they're going to need everything they can get from him. He's only a 5'11 sophomore and he's already got seven points. To the rim goes Harris, and a, a defensive foul, excuse me, Underwood tacked with his second, so that's an early two fouls against Maddox Underwood, and it sends Colin Harris to the line. Colin averages nine points per game, 60% free throw shooter. We'll round up, 61% free throw shooter, Dar. Yep. First one rolls in. He has a team, this Pandora team, team shoots 65% from the three-point line. 
39% roughly from the three-point line. Second one falls as well, so two points for Colin Harris. 17-11 lead. Here's Alex Sanders. Sanders spins, goes between two defenders. Lost the handle on the way up, and a double dribble called against the Rockets. Yeah, that's the second turnover now for the Rockets. Oh, they had three turnovers unofficially for Upper Silver Valley right now. Just mag pace. checking back in. Sorry, Doc. You figure this pace for both these teams, you know, can they keep up this pace? And what is, what's it going to be like in the fourth quarter for these Rams teams if they keep this pace up? Shot from just inside the three-point line. That's no good. Nice fight for the rebound. Ends up falling to Colin Harris, but he stripped from behind. Sanders with the steal. Ahead to Castle, and the easy lay-in. Coach Dre White takes a timeout for USV. Six points for Blaine Castle. His team trails 17-13. Just under two to play in the first quarter. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Our scoreboard tonight is presented by Springer Insurance with locations in Pandora and Bluffton. Springer Insurance says go Rockets. 17-13, the Rockets lead on the scoreboard here at USB High School. Evan Skilleter, Dar never goal with you. Rockets with possession following the USB timeout. I have to imagine they'll space those out a little bit to get some rest as Neuenschwander misses a three from the corner. Yeah, this USB team had an eight, uh, eight game winning streak going for their, lo their last loss to Corey Ross, 60 to 60. You know, but, you know, they, they've had a really good season. You know, 13 and four, like I said, just four losses. Nice pass ahead. Colin Harris finds Aiden. Aiden with the good control at the basket. Nice defensive play there by Colin as well, getting down and cutting off the passing lane. Aiden Harris, just yeah, what a player. Rams lose the handle, that will be Rams basketball. So referee says last touched by the Rockets and in checks, Aiden Morris. Yeah, USC, as we said, you know, undefeated in their league at 5-0 and in the Northwest Central Conference. But they you know, losses to Shawnee, Miller City, Allen East, and Corey Ross in this season. We mentioned that game against Elgin that they played. Uh, it was a really tough game on the road, and then they had to turn around and go to Corey Rawson and play a really tough team there. And talking with some USV fans before the game, they said, you know, it just tough. They were gassed. Yeah, they were they gassed. played really hard in the conference, and, you know, it's okay to have those tough non-conference games midweek or on Saturdays, of course. Yeah, Pandora's had some tough ones lately, too, and a lot of close games. Arlington, Columbus Grove, and then turn around with Liberty Benton as well, and all tight games. And you get a lot of energy in those games as well. And they only have four losses on their schedule. You know, Clyda, Ottaville, Arlington, and Liberty Benton. So. Dar, we've had two of those four. Yeah, we did. That what Arlington, bad luck. I don't know. Pass goes inside to Castle, two on the clock. Nice pass from Castle, the shot's blocked. That shot goes up and it's too late, so it does not count. And after one, the Rockets with a six point lead, 19-13. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard is presented by Springer Insurance with locations in Pandora and Bluffton. Springer Insurance says go Rockets. Welcome back to Upper Sioux Valley High School where the Rams trail 19-13 on that Springer Insurance scoreboard to the traveling Rockets of Pandora Gilboa. Rockets start the quarter with the basketball. Balanced scoring effort so far. Rockets move it around the perimeter. New Inchwater thought about a three. Instead skips it up top. Mag gets inside. That's Morris, excuse me, not able to finish. Alex Sanders with the rebound. 
Graham with the opportunity to knock this lead down. Pick and roll, Castle gets it, but a huge block from behind. Doesn't matter as the follow goes from Mason Thompson. Great recovery right there from Jake Mag. Pardon me, that was actually Nate Mag. Nate and Jake, a year apart. It's 163, 162, it averaged about the same amount of points, about the same amount of rebounds. And if you look closely, you don't even have to look closely, oh, yeah, they look a lot alike. They look a lot alike, yep. You know, Mason Thompson, 54% free throw shooters, only shot seven for 13 so far this season. Thompson knocks that one in. Three points for him. I'll tell you what, this USB team, they come in averaging almost 32 rebounds a game. So, you know, granted, they, they don't have Bruce Stevens out there, you know, Stephens out there at, you know, five rebounds a game, but that's only takes five rebounds away from, from 31 re, or 32 rebounds a game. That's a good point, Darren. And I think every team I've ever seen Dre White coach has always been a really hard physical rebounding and defensive team. Stopped at Ada and then here at USV, shot inside, no good, but a foul. Nate Mag will head to the line, 69% free throw shooter. Nate with three points tonight, one for one from the field, one three pointer. Well, the thing too is that Right now, it's 19-16. USC's only down by three points, and Alex Sanders has not scored yet. That's a great point, Dar. Some good support, especially Blaine Castle with six points, only averages about six. So good to see him at his average. Finding some success in that pick and roll as well. Yeah, they need a huge game from him on that interior because, like I said, Pandora has the size inside there. Now Nate and Jake will switch. As Nate hits both, he has five points. How can we tell? Oh, the number. <laughs> the number, right. <laughs> same haircut, same hairline. <laughs> Alex Sanders hits Castle again on the roll. Castle backs his way down against the smaller defender, and he's fouled on his way up. Well, he's looking strong on the inside right now. Making some nice moves in there. If you're not sure if he's strong or not, turn on some football tape. Yeah. Blaine Castle, one of the best defenders in Northwest Ohio. And he is a load in, underneath that basket. That free throw goes. Castle up to seven points. Gets them both. Make it eight points for Blaine Castle as he closes the gap to three. Four for four so far. The free throw line only a 54% or 53% free throw shooter. So Blaine having a good, good game. Oh, nice cut out. inside wow. off the screen. Owen Huffman finishing. Huffman's first basket. Boy, the Rocket defense is doing a great job of keeping Sanders away from the basket right now. Ball almost stolen, past tipped. Stay with USB on the far side. And that might be part of the thing too, because the Rockets are spending so much time worrying about Sanders, you know, since they know that, you know, Drew's not out there, so they're worrying about him, that they're giving Castle an opportunity. Nice steal by Huffman, can't hit the layup. It's gonna be a three point attempt from the corner, and that's good. Hey, I'll take three instead of two. There Colin Harris with five points. Eight point lead for the Rockets. Here's Jason Helton. Thompson hands to Sanders. Sanders goes inside. And he has that strip, but able to get it back. Now passes out and a foul on the pass. That'll actually be foul number seven against the Rockets, which will send a USV player to the line. Not sure which one got fouled. We're going to send Alex Sanders away. It will be Sanders indeed. Sanders, a chance for his first point of the night. 50% free throw shooter. Yeah, 94 opportunities. There's 47 of them. He's still averaging 17 points a game. So he's left a lot of points at the foul line. 
still have it from 17. Can't hit that one. And the ball goes out. Last touched by USV. 5.39 to go, second quarter. And right now, Colin Harris is primarily the guy that's been on Sanders most of this first half. He's doing a great job. Then they do a little switching off. Pass goes inside and a foul on the way up. Sends Jake Mag to the line. That'll be the first against Blaine Castle. For team fouls against USB. I take that back earlier. I said Derek Magnet. Jake Mag's also a senior as well. Jake Mag, a 55% free throw shooter, knocks in the first for his first bucket of the night. Misses the second, but an offensive rebound. The putback no good. Nice block right there by Blaine Castle. Sanders hands to Underwood. That three off the front, no good, but Sanders with the offensive board. Sanders goes up, off glass and in. You can see the strength right there from Alex. Yeah, that's the Alex we've been waiting for this whole first half. 27-20 now. Aiden Harris working up top against Helton. Now Morris. You got two very good defensive teams out there. You know, Pandora only giving up 41 points a game. USB 48. Good ball movement as the pass goes inside to Colin Harris, who finds Jake Mag for the two. Underwood gets bumped, they say on the ground, so still one and one. A lot of free throws in this game so far. Underwood, a 62% free throw shooter. Seven points so far tonight for him. Yeah, the key's gonna be is how many fouls. And he's got the USC rack up because they'll have to go to the bench if they're not careful. First one goes. Underwood has two of those fouls for the USB. Second one goes as well. Nine points for Underwood. 29 22 the score. Rockets still on top. As Aiden Morris brings it down. USB doing a nice job of just staying in the striking distance. Yeah, the last thing you want to do is fall behind too far and have to work hard. But how about that? Aiden Harris weaving his way to the basket. I think he just made a rug, didn't he? <laughs> That's right. 31-22. Aiden up to nine points already. He averages 18.1. Big screen from Castle up top. Yeah, I don't think I'd try to go through one of Castle's screens. And the Rams dribbled themselves into trouble. Dre White calls a timeout to get them out of it. 3.47 to go here in the first half. Rockets on top, 31-22. Welcome back to USV, 31-22, the Rockets on top. We counted it at the break, 17 free throws already shot in this game between the two teams. Castle goes inside, we'll have at least one more. There you go. Can't go more than a couple seconds in this game without a whistle, I think. Well, a lot of it too, you know, Castle four for four at the foul line already. And, you know, he's moving on the inside. Rockets just don't have an answer for stopping him because he heads for the basket except the foul. Gets that one to go. Nine points now for Blaine Castle. And pretty soon the Rockets can say, if you're going to charge in there, I'll blow your horn at least, will you? Let us know you're coming. Gets that one to go as well. So big night so far for Blaine Castle. He's only 52% free throw shooter, but he's made all of them so far tonight. Closes the gap to seven. Neuenschwader is going to try a three. That goes. Big bucket for the Rockets. 
Yeah, exactly. we talked about that. New Swander, 39% three-point shooter. His 10th make of the year. Underwood lost the handle, but able to get it back and get it to Sanders. Sanders, skip pass. Here's Thompson. Now Underwood. Now you know that Coach White had to tell the team that before the game, you know, especially with Glenn Castle, if we need a big game from you, we're missing a key, you know, player, and we need you to come out and have a great game. He's definitely shown up in this one, a foul called on Mason Thompson, his first, the fifth against USB. Five fouls on USB, nine fouls on Pandora. Wow. A lot of whistles in this one. Colin Harris gives it to Aiden. Aiden's three, no good. Nice rebound from Castle. Down comes Alex Sanders. Rockets, or the Rams have an opportunity to cut the lead down from double digits. Deficit. Castle dribbles up and then passes it away. New and Schwander with the steal and the layup at the other end. 36-24, 12 point lead for the Rockets. Two minutes to go in the first half. Sanders has some space, fires, got it. Don't want to give him that kind of space. Coach Lee just glaring at his team for going under that screen. Yeah, you don't want to give Sanders that kind of opportunity and open look like that. Colin Harris to the bucket. Scoop, no good. And out of bounds as Nate Mag tried to grasp the rebound. Now Jake will swap in places. USB also sends in Maddox Underwood after a quick break. Like I said, I mean, that's going to be a key in the second half. You know, because Pandora, you know, Coach Lee keeps running guys in, running guys in, has fresh legs out there where the Rams don't have that opportunity. They're giving their guys some, some breaks, but they're really short in duration. Yeah, you mentioned earlier the fourth quarter is going to be interesting yeah, to watch. Of course, they keep calling fouls like this and you get that many opportunities to line, that gives you guys a rest. That's a good point. So far, 14 fouls total called in this game. Nine of them against the Rockets. Three-pointer no good. Off the front, but an offensive rebound on the long one. Jason Helton brings it in. Unofficially, that's the 10th rebound I got for USB. Rams down nine. Trying to cut into that deficit before the end of the half. Sanders. Baseline, spins right into a defender, but able to keep it. Goes up through contact, oh. and there's that strength once again. Sanders, seven points, all of them in the second quarter. Yeah, he's starting to clear himself a little bit on the inside as well. And, that, and he's getting the opportunity because Cass is having such a good game that they're having to pull away from Sanders, give him a little bit more room to maneuver, and he's going to take advantage of that. 12 seconds on the clock. Rockets playing for the last shot. Harris inside. Mag, oh, good. Nice job. Four seconds. Here's Underwood. Underwood to Sanders at the buzzer. Misses everything. And that does it for the first half. 38-29. Rockets on top at the break. We'll step aside. Second half coming up after this on WOSN. Welcome back to USV High School for the start of the second half between the Rams and the traveling Pandora Gilboa Rockets. Evan Skilleter, Dar Nevergall with you. Stephen McNeil and Jacob O'Neill on the cameras tonight. Dar, it's a good first half. Both teams seem to make a couple different runs and USV not able to start with a basket there, but USV shorthanded tonight and still able to hang with this pretty good Rocket team. Yeah, they certainly are. You know, one thing is, we're talking about free throws, and there's, you know, 
23 throws in that first half between the two teams, and they hit 18 of them. So, you know, USB 11 for 12 with the foul line. That was key for them in that first half to stay in this game. And, you know, Blaine Castle having a great game. Uh, he's got 10 points already. Three right there from Aiden Harris, leading scorer in this game now with 12 points. Blaine Castle with 10 for USV to lead the way for the Rams. Maddox Underwood right there with nine as well. Now the other thing too is you're looking at the three point shooting. Pandora Gabo is six for eight, now seven for nine in this game. And on the flip side, USB two for four, so they're doing a decent job from three point range as well. Ball knocked away. Referee almost pointed toward the yeah. Rockets side, but gets it right. It'll be Ram basketball on the side. If you missed it earlier, the Rams 13 and four overall, five and zero in the Northwest Central Conference. The Rockets 14 and four. 6-2 and two in the BBC and 3-2 and two in the PCL as that basket goes in. Maddox Underwood now with 11. Nice basket at the other end. Colin Harris right over the defender. He has 7. And pace picking up like it did in the first half. They're all starting out the game. They were, you know, up and down the court. Doing it again this start of this second half. Maddox Underwood pulls up, knocks that one in. So a lot of scoring so far early on in the half. Nice pass, Harris to Harris. Aiden finishes and he's fouled. A free throw coming up for the sophomore. Six foot two and Dar, I don't know if you remember, but two years ago you and I called a Pandora game and the Colin or the Harris brothers were freshmen. They both got some varsity playing time, but I feel like they were 5'5 five, five or 5'6. Five, yeah. These two have really grown into some great basketball players with a lot of length. Oh, a lot of length, a lot of long arms, too, boy. I'll tell you what, they can disrupt a lot of passing lanes with those arms. 15 points for Aiden Harris, three off his average of 18, 46 33, the Rockets lead. And when you watch Aiden play, I mean, he's just so smooth, you know. He, you know, nice moves to the basket. Doesn't, you know, doesn't seem to exert himself a whole lot. You know, he just kind of racks up his 18, 19 points, you know, without any effort. We've seen a couple times in the first half, both of the Harrises just snake their way through the paint to the basket for an easy layup. Mag, mid-range jumper, no good. Rebound pulled in by Jason Helton. Helton with a quiet night so far. Now he only averages 2.5 points. He's more of a distributor. That ball stripped away from Underwood on his way up. Good ball movement once again. Harris gets a man in the air, not able to finish. Second attempt, no good. Abraham Ducker able to pull it in for USB. Yeah, officially 13, turn, uh, 13 rebounds now for USB. They've only turned the ball over six times. You know, Pandora just with eight rebounds. And they've had three turnovers so far. Three minutes into the third quarter. Rockets up 13. Castle backs down. Sends it out to Sanders. Underwood runs baseline. Now back to Sanders. Sanders clears him out. Castle wanted to post up. Instead, he'll set the screen. Sanders skips it. Three on the way. Underwood can't hit. Castle with the offensive board. Might have been fouled, doesn't matter. Alex Sanders misses the three. Castle gets the call there as he'll shoot two free throws. Blaine Castle, 10 points tonight, averages 5.8 on the season. And Dar, he's done a nice job from the free throw line as well. Oh, he certainly has. I mean, he, you know, he's hit all of his free throws, six for six. I mean, you know, he's only hit 53% coming into the game. You know, rebounding wise, he averaged just under four rebounds. And we've seen him out there, you know, grabbing rebounds left and right. Evidently, he won't shoot free throws here. So it'll be a baseline out of bounds play for Maddox Underwood to throw in. Underwood looking, now finds Jason Helton. Castle wants the ball inside. Instead, it's Sanders. Trying to go baseline, cut off, steps back, jumper smooth. Nine points for Sanders now. 46-35, Rockets lead by 11. Here's Aiden Morris. Over to Colin Harris. 
Harris working against Helton. Three-pointer on the way. That's no good from Aiden. Castle tries to grab the rebound. And I'll tell you what, Dar, that's an, a really smart play. A lot of times you see guys try to save it toward their own bat or toward their other team's basket. They get it for an easy layup. If you're going to try to save the ball, you yep. might as well throw it to the other end of the court. Absolutely. Yeah, I've been impressed with everything that Blaine's been doing tonight. Rockets back to work offensively. Colin Harris up top for Mag. We talked for about, Morris, excuse me. You know, we talked about Castle and doing so well in the first half. And, you know, everybody have to, you know, up on Sanders and stuff, and then they had to drop off the Sanders to get to Castle. And that opened up Sanders. And when he throws a screen out there, my lands. 3-2 zone from the Rams. The Rockets just moving it around the perimeter right now. Here's Colin Harris. Good ball movement. Three on the way. Huffman, it's in and out, but an easy rebound and put back for Aiden Harris, who's up to 17 points. Well, there he is again, averaging just 18 points a game. He's already up to 17, and it's like, where did it come from? 13-point lead as the Rockets knock that away. USV will inbound from the side. Underwood will inbound. Gives to Sanders. Sanders has it stripped away. Harris goes up and can't finish. Rebound by Sanders. Now Castle stops. He has it stripped away. It'll stay with USB underneath. A little, a little bit of frustration starting to show a little bit. Well, and again, we, you mentioned it a couple times. As this game wears on, it's going to be tougher and tougher for USB to run the floor. Only six guys getting action so far tonight for the Rams. Their second leading scorer, Drew Stevens, out tonight. Drew averages 16.6 points a game. Abraham Decker now in the lineup for USB. Here's Sanders. Decker slipped the screen but lost the handle. 2.11 to go, 13 point lead for the Rockets here in the third quarter. Now they've only gone now seven deep off of that uh, Rams bench you know, with help coming in and Decker on that. Rockets taking their time against this zone defense. Here's Colin Harris. Now Aiden, three-pointer, got it. Splash. That was smooth as silk, dude. It looks effortless, doesn't it? Oh, my goodness. Nothing but net from out there. Harris now with 20 points. His team leads by 16. Sanders, baseline. Sanders runs over a defender. Nice pass, three goes. Maddox Underwood knocks it in, and a timeout taken by Coach White. 120 to go here in the third quarter. It's 51-38. Rockets on top right here on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard is presented by Sprunger Insurance with locations in Pandora and Bluffton. Sprunger Insurance says go Rockets. 51-38, Rockets on top. 120 to go in the third quarter. Rockets led by a 20-point effort so far from their sophomore leader, Aiden Harris. Two over his season average. On the flip side, you've got 16 points by Maddox Underwood. You know, he's two points over his season average. Rams looking for scoring anywhere they can get it. Neuenschwander off his foot. Sanders goes inside and a good foul there. As he will go to the line to earn the two points. Owen Huffman fouling him. That's three against Huffman. Yeah, we talked about Sanders, you know, 47 for 94, now 47 for 95 at the foul line. 
That one in and out. Mason Thompson checks in. Jake Mag and Derek Mag checking in for the Rockets. I think Brandor just did a line change. Rebound falls to Aiden Morris. Under a minute to play, third quarter. Rockets not in any hurry to shoot. Neuenschwander's a great shooter. We've talked about that already, nearly 40%. Had an open look, but didn't even look at the rim. Yep. Can't blame him. You're going to run this down as far as you can, and then look for, I'll look for him over there again, see if he's open. Neuenschwander now from the mid-range. That's no good. Re offensive rebound. And put back good from Derek Mag. Mag up to five points. Yeah, he opened up with that three-pointer in the first quarter and then was quiet as far as scoring was until just now. Helton goes baseline, kicks it up to Underwood. Three-pointer, no good. Fight for the rebound. Castle comes down with it. And a jump ball. Arrow pointing Pandora's way. Eleven point six on the clock. Aiden Harris checks in for Colin. Harris flies down the court, finds New and Schwan to reverse nice lefty job. layup. Good. Oh my goodness. Three on the clock. Underwood. He gets fouled. And was it a shooting foul? Still no call from the referee. Uh, nope. He was in the air. I mean, yeah, technically, he when you're in the air like that, that's a sh that's a shot. But referee says no. Point three on the clock. That would have been three three free throws too. Catch and shoot. That might go. Oh. <laughs> Just off the front, Sanders almost gets it to go, but he doesn't. And the Rockets lead 55-38 at the end of three quarters. Fourth quarter coming up after this on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Sprunger Insurance with locations in Pandora and Bluffton. Sprunger Insurance says go Rockets. Welcome back for the start of the fourth quarter here at USV, 55-38. The Pandora Rockets on top of the USV Rams in a non-conference midweek showdown. Two teams with four losses, USV 13-4, Pandora 14-4. Castle inside, off glass, no good. Colin Harris grabs the board. Harris up and in, Colin up to nine points. Yeah, the Rockets going to really, really run it out here in the fourth quarter as much as they can. Nice pass inside. Underwood lost it on his way up. He thought he was fouled. No call from the referee. It'll be a baseline out of bounds play coming up for USV. Yeah, There's no doubt the Rockets have the fresh legs out there. They've been able to move the guys in and out all night long where the Rams haven't been able to. So I can see the Rockets, you know, just Turning it up a little, bit, the heat up a little bit more, and getting up and down the court more. Sanders steps back as his defender fell. It's getting a little chippy out there late in the game. Rockets with the rebound, and so Dar, we had what 17, 18, 19 free throws in the first half. We only have four fouls called here in the second half, but I feel like it's been more physical as Underwood knocks in. A three-pointer with 6.54 to go. He has 19 points. 57-41. The Rockets lead. But I'll tell you what, it's getting pretty physical, and the refs have decided the second half yeah, they're going to let them play, let them play a know, little bit more. It, you know, like both teams were 18 for 20 in the first half. And 20 free throws in that first half. And, yeah, you're right. They, you know, <laughs> Sanders is really exerting himself out there right now on the court, you know. But, yeah, I think they're just going to let them run it out now. You know, they expect that. And they also know the Rams are, you know, are wearing down a little bit too, which you know, was to be expected when you only got six guys on the varsity roster out there playing. So they really miss the shooting and the scoring of uh, Drew Stephens. Stephens, that's for sure. But 
you know, hey, you know, they're giving it all they got out there. They really are. They're working hard. Maddox Underwood, you know, having a big game. You know, Lane Castle just played out his mind in that first half. He's been scoreless here in the second half, but he's been opening up a lot of areas for the, you know, the Rams can shoot the ball and stuff. And just kind of clogging up that middle a little bit for USB. So, you know, you, you give them credit. You know, they, they're playing as hard as they can. I mean, they're and hanging in there, you know. Let's see how they finish this one out. 6.51 to go. One timeout remaining for the Rams. Rockets with it up top. Here's Owen Huffman. Ball swung around. This is Colin Harris. Pulls up. Floats it in. Colin into double figures with 11 now. Has yeah, six points here in the second half. Colin was a little quiet the last two games we saw him play. You know, he has the scoring you down a little bit. Jason Helton misses his first attempt of the game. Rockets up top. Derek Mag. It's Colin Harris. Colin gives to Aiden. Colin faces up, lost the handle. It's going to be a turnover as referee says his last touched by Harris. Unofficially, I've got Rockets just their sixth turnover of the game. It's a good basketball game. Averaging just 11 turnovers per contest. As fast paced as they've been running their offense, as many passes as they've been throwing as well. Here's Helton on the wing. Tries to find someone to pass to, then finds Sanders. Sanders off the castle screen. Gets a man in the air. Pass knocked away. That was Nate Mag getting a hand on it. Now Aiden Morris will check in for Derek Mag. I tell you, Evan, we were talking about this rocking this roster when we look down through it. Two seniors here and Jake Mag and you know, Derek Mag out there, but and then you look over at USB, you know, they've been sitting there one, two, three, four, four seniors on their roster. There's a junior, Aiden Harris, with the left-handed layup off the steal. 22 points for him. Sanders inside. Sanders through contact, puts it in. That is a strong man right there. 11 points. Yeah, and he's had to work for every one of those 11 points. <laughs> it has not been an easy shot for him. He had one three-pointer where he was wide open. Outside of that, everything else he's had, he's had to put a lot of effort and a lot of work in. Aiden Harris misses the basket. Castle pulls in the rebound. 61-43. Just over four and a half to play. Underwood, baseline, goes up, can't score. Which Harris is going to score here? They're just going to let Colin get to the basket. Twenty point lead now for the Rockets. Thirteen points for Colin. That three goes. Alex Sanders drops it in. Fourteen points for him. Well, and for a while there, the Rockets didn't want to take their foot off the pedal because. You know, you didn't want to give breather to this USB team. You wanted to keep wearing them down. You know, but now with this lead, you know, they can kind of work it around a little bit. They don't have to get up and down the court as hard as they were. Rockets passing it around against this zone defense. Yeah, they're looking to the inside. They look at the basket, but they're really not. Nice shot on the open look, Aiden Morris. The pass from Colin Harris. That's Morris' first uh, basket of the second half. Seven total points for Morris. Underwood pulls up. Two-point jumper's good. And Coach White will take his last timeout with 3.21 to go here in the fourth quarter. His team trails 66-48 right here on WOSN.
Tonight's scoreboard is presented by Sprunger Insurance with locations in Pandora and Bluffton. Sprunger Insurance says go Rockets. Good one for the Rockets here as they lead 18 points with 3.15 to go. Here's their leading scorer, Aiden Harris, passing to brother Colin who knocks in the three. Colin Harris, a 35% three-point shooter, now has 13 points. Extends the lead to 21 and almost gets a steal, but it goes out and stays with the Rams. Now the one thing I've been impressed with with the Rockets, and they've had some rough games, like you said, they lost last year. So, Liberty Benton, the game before that, they beat Huntsville by three. The game before that, it was a double overtime game, you know. So they've had some tough games down the stretch, but they are really doing a nice job of moving that ball around, you know, setting up their offense, getting the open looks, getting it to the open guy. Playing Castle through contact, gets it to go. 12 points for Castle. Double his season average and a chance for 13 here as Nate Mag called for his first foul. I'll tell you what, USB has got to be impressed with what Castle's done tonight. And the fact that he's really coming alive right now, just before they get into you know, the, you know, the end of their season, regular season, and into tournament time. He could be a big, big, you know, plug in this uh, offense here for uh, USB. And defensively, he played a nice game as well. Absolutely, a very impressive player. Good defender inside, nice and strong. Tallest player on this team at six foot four. Rockets with the ball, easy shot inside from Aiden Harris. Aiden now at 24. Yeah, they haven't had an answer for Aiden Harris all night long, but a lot of teams don't. So they can't feel bad about that. That pass. Gets stolen, and Aiden with another bucket. <laughs> Rockets have gotten out in transition quickly, really taking advantage of some of these tired legs. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that was the third quarter of a 17-9 win for uh, Pandora. Although, and since then, they've just been turning it up and turning it up. Yeah. Rams going to bring in some players. Samantha taking the bench. Underwood taking the bench. Good effort by those two. You know, Sanders really came on in the second half. Number zero checks in for Pandora. They said last name was Lee. I don't have him on the roster, so I apologize for that. Plus it was Tanner Leakty. Tanner listed as number 32, so I apologize to number zero out there. Hunter Damron checked in for USB at the break as did Jason Helton off the bench. Passes inside, Castle not able to handle it. Quick pass ahead, Colin Harris gets a man to fly by. 18 points for Colin. Substitution timeout here for Pandora as they're gonna send in Carson Meyer as well as Andrew Suter. Fifteen points for Colin Harris in the second half. Finishing with 20 on the night. Wyatt Helton checks in. And 15 points in the second half for Aiden. It was a really good second half by the Rockets. Again, maybe aided by some tired legs from USB, but I'll tell you what, they have played as hard as they can, and I've been really impressed with this team, and I wouldn't want to play them come playoff time. I wouldn't either. Basically, if Cassidy can, you know, keep going the way he's going. That shot knocked in by Hunter Damron. Just the freshman. Two points for Damron, and 
15 seconds on the clock. Have to imagine the Rockets won't take a shot here. Never mind, that three on the way. It's short. And that should do it. Ball almost goes out of bounds, but USB saved it. And the game comes to an end. USB winning this one 75-52. And Dar, your final thoughts on this one? Well, you know, USB definitely came in on a disadvantage. One of the leading scorers out of this game. You know, at, you know, you gave up 17 points and about five rebounds a game for this one here. Um, Pandor just, I was impressed with the way Pandor moved the ball around. I mean, they were finally open looks, they were finding the guys, you know, they moved it. Chris passes, they didn't throw the ball away a lot. Only had for, out of three for six turnovers for the game. So you, you had to be impressed with that. But, you know, you look at this Rams team and, and the game that Blaine Castle played, I mean, 12 points for the game. Yeah, they held him just two in the second half. But, you know, that's double hit what he normally gets in a game. So yeah, you really got to be impressed with the way the Rams played. You know, and what Castle did was not only just the scoring wise, but the way that he drew the defense into him finally, you know, and opened up Sanders and Underwood on the outside. Those two came through with Sanders with 14 points and Underwood with 21. You know, so, you know, there are a lot of good things the Rams can build on. You know, they'll get their other guy back in there again. You know, this is a team, like you said, Evan. I wouldn't want to play in the tournament. They got a lot of things going for them. Rockets need to just win. They need to, they need to get away get a little breathing space between some of these games they've had lately. You know, they've had to really fight hard in all these games. So it's great to get, you know, get a game like this where you can, you know, just kind of develop yourself and move yourself and move the ball around to different guys. And, you know, the Harris guy, you know, 44 points between the two of them. I mean, my goodness. But, yep, good game. It's a Tuesday night game. Neither one of them, I mean, it's not a league game for either one of them. So, hey, you know take it away from here and go on to the next one. Absolutely. Thank you, Dar. Again, your final score, 75-52, the Rockets over the USV Rams. Want to thank the USV Athletic Department for their hospitality tonight. Want to thank our camera guys, Jacob O'Neill and Stephen McNeil. And as always, want to thank you, the viewer, for tuning in to High School Basketball on WOSN. For Dar Nevergall, I've been Evan Skilleter signing off. Have a great night, and God bless.